Kalahari Desert, the most advanced racing car ever made is being tested to its limits. The British-built Bloodhound has been designed to travel at a thousand miles an hour. Every time it's tested on this vast desert pan, it runs faster and faster. Bringing Bloodhound out here to South Africa is about taking the world's best straight-line racing car, bringing it here to the world's best high-speed racetrack to attempt and to smash the world land speed record. The British team of engineers are using the latest technology to perfect the car's performance. It's fueled by a fighter plane's jet engine, and next year a rocket will be added, taking the car beyond the speed of sound. It's all controlled from the cockpit, the nerve center of this supersonic vehicle. So far, the test runs out in the desert have topped 500 miles an hour. At this point, this comes down to one man's courage and his ability to control the car. But getting to this point took a team of engineers and technicians large enough to fill Wembley Stadium. Funding for all this comes from one man who stepped in to save the project and hopes it will inspire scientists of the future. It's pushing the boundaries in engineering and, and trying to learn new things. Um, but also the thing that the reason I got involved with the project was because the, the previous project had been so fantastic at inspiring people to get into engineering. Uh, and, and as I look forward in, in, the, in the world and where we're going, you know, we need more engineers to design new things and develop new things. The Bloodhound project's about increasing scientific knowledge and testing human endeavour. The current land speed record of 763 miles an hour hasn't been broken for 22 years. The car will be shipped back to England for further development before the record is attempted back here next year. Penny Marshall, ITV News, The Kalahari.